About 13 career and technical education centers are popping up around the state due to $68 million of state funding. The one in Minot started teaching high school students this August. Crystal Quow takes a look inside the courses offered so far at the Minot Area Workforce Academy. This is 12th grader Tyke Allery's sixth time on the truck driving simulator. My first time I, I think I made so many highway accidents. It was terrible. CDL instructor Holly Larson says it will take time before they begin testing the highways. But for now, they're simulating and practicing in real life with actual cement and freight trucks in the parking lot. It's my hope, though, that they get an endorsement uh, to drive uh, CDL Class A by the end of the semester. Part of their curriculum includes CPR and first aid safety training, just like the Careers with Children course. Another 12th grader, Deshana Cree, says she tried to get in the course last year, but it was full. She says she's not sure what her career looks like in the future, but she likes kids and the course could help her decide. I just really love just working with them. They're just so curious and creative and funny. Safety with materials. Jenny Jarvis teaches the course about two hours each day, helping minds to shape even younger minds. All right, so just According to the National Education Association survey, 50% of teachers think of leaving the profession earlier than planned. That's how we actually start off our class, is looking at those teacher shortages and explaining to the kids how important they are. Jarvis's students will get significant exposure to the Head Start preschool right next to their class. You guys put it in the box. Wow. This excites her because she says their training will have been immersive. I'm really excited to be able to work with children and be able to go out to different schools. Allery says he'll go wherever life takes him. At the Minot Area Workforce Academy, I'm Crystal Clow reporting for your news leader. The career and technical education courses are also taught in individual high schools.